I have another lip product and this is the OCC or Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tar. I mean these things, if you've ever read a beauty blog, I'm sure they've done a blog about these things. And now that they're available at Sephora, like it's just kind of taking off and like everybody's gotten into them. And I could not help but like follow the trend. And I know I've uploaded a video before where I ended up getting a free lip tar through beauty.com. Sign up for that email website. Um, they've got really good deals where like every now and basically once a week actually, they offer some kind of product for free with a purchase of, usually it's only a $10 purchase. Um, but this one I actually purchased from Sephora because Sephora is doing this really nice little combo set where you get the lip tar and you get a little lip brush which is a very good idea with these things because they are so pigmented that they kind of would stain your finger if you just use your finger. So it's nice to have a nice little lip brush to it. And on the back here on the packaging, it just kind of explains, like you literally don't need a lot of product. These, these one of these will last you forever because you just need a very small bead or drop of the product and then you can just kind of spread it out on the rest of your lips there. Now in the back here it's also interesting because it's mentioning to prime your lips with OCC Clear Lip Tar and allow to absorb. I've actually never used that and so I, I don't know if that would be good or not but I'm sure what you can do is um, like if you're going out and you're getting ready what I'll do is before I put on any kind of makeup is I'll put on a lip balm like a chapstick let that settle into my lips while I put on the rest of my makeup you know I do my face my eyes and everything else and then like usually the last step is to put on the lip product so by then the chapstick has kind of absorbed and I'll just kind of blot any excess like waxy material off and then put the lip product on so these do kind of sink into the crevices of your lips so if you have like any dry kind of flakiness, you want to make sure your lips are kind of nicely exfoliated basically because it is kind of, I don't know, it sinks into everything because it just is so pigmented. So this is in the color NSFW and I forget what that stands for now so I'm going to have to put it in the caption. But um, I had a hard time deciding what color I wanted to pick up. And I know they have this awesome kit out right now where it's like you get five different lip tars for $50. And I was going to originally pick that up because I was like, that is such a good deal. But at the same time, like, I don't wear a bold lip very often. Um, professionally I can't and then in my like day-to-day -day life I really don't do it often enough but I kind of felt like I will never fully use these products to their you know full capabilities because it's just not what I do so instead of getting five I figured I'll just pick one and I decided I could have gone either way I was debating between getting one that I would wear every day like a really nice like neutral lip color or the perfect red lip. And so I ended up deciding to go with the perfect red lipstick color because this is exactly what it's supposed to be. The description is is like it's the perfect red. It's not blue based, it's not pink based or whatever. It's supposed to be the perfect red lip. Literally, that's all the product that you need and even that much is probably going to be too much. So I have worn this and this has like amazing staying power. Um, it's so pigmented. Look at that. I mean, <laughs> and when you're applying it, it's got this nice like, I don't know, it's got a really nice silky texture to it. So it's not hard to kind of, you know, keep dragging it out. And this lip brush is actually pretty good. You can get a decent kind of fine line with it, the one that they include. So I just apply it with a lip brush. I mean, you could obviously use other things. With this color, I have um, been making sure to kind of powder the my outer lip area. I don't have lip liners. I really don't use them, so I don't own any to really put with this. But it might be a color where you might obviously want to wear a lip liner kind of thing. Um, but if you can kind of just see that, like... I have so much product still left over that I could probably do three sets of lips with this. I mean, you really don't need a whole lot. And you can see that too, it's got a nice texture to it where I'm not pushing very hard and it's still like really easy to blend it out more. See that? So it's not like it's, it's not 
it doesn't tug. It doesn't really dry out. It's got this really nice kind of silky texture to it that you can really still like maneuver and work with for a while, which is good. Um, but yeah, so you can see here that this is the NSFW color and it's like this awesome like perfect red. It really is. It's an awesome awesome red color here. So I'm kind of just playing to play with it, but um, you can see you don't need a whole lot. <laughs> um, it takes like no amount of product whatsoever to cover your lips. And um, do you see how it gives it like this nice kind of satin finish? So it really is beautiful. And after, if you let this go for a little bit, it does dry a little bit so that it's not so like easily movable. Um, but it's not technically transfer resistant. Uh, so you will end up getting some of this on your glass kind of thing. So it's not transfer resistant, but it is super long wearing. And I think that just comes from the fact that it is so pigmented that, you know, at the end of a day, like you would still have color on your lips and it, cause it kind of stains them at the same time, um, that it makes it super long wearing, but it's not super drying because it's not like those two-step long wearing formulas that I really don't like. Those are like non-transferable, super permanent, but they like really dry your lips out so that, that they feel like terrible and then you have to have the second step where you put the gloss over top. You could totally get away with just wearing this all day and it would still have like a nice kind of satin finish to it that you wouldn't feel like your lips were completely dry. I personally though still like to just put like a gloss over top of it because I like, I mean it's going to be a bold red lip, I like to have a little bit of a gloss shine, um, but it definitely has a nice satin finish on its own that you don't really have to do that and it's not super drying that I don't feel like I absolutely have to have something over top of it either. So this is like the color that I chose. I know it's like super red, but I kind of was like, you know, I'm not gonna use it very often. This product will last me forever. So it took me a really long time to decide what color to settle on. And I'm very happy with the purchase of NSFW because it is truly like the perfect red lip. So this will be something that will never go out of style and you can just keep it in your kind of um, cosmetic repertoire and it is like a great, really great finish to it. So this is the OCC Lip Tar and this is in NSFW.